guys happy friday at least it is friday for me for you it might be a different day but that's okay happy whatever day it is for you i just finished my morning pages and my head is a little empty right now but i don't mind it because this week was absolutely crazy i was so productive i could not recognize myself genuinely i got so much stuff done i'm on top of everything i am a winner no, but honestly, it was like, I don't know what it was, but I was so focused and so productive. So I'm really proud. But now I really need that morning to take things extra slow. So that's what we are doing today. And yeah, and also tomorrow I have the craziest day, like so active. I'm doing like different events and stuff. Um, yeah, so I just said this is my only time where I can do it. So I'm going to make the most out of it. So we are having a little slow morning today. And you know what? I recently realized how much I enjoy. I mean, I knew it, but I wasn't really aware of it. Does that make sense? But basically I really love finishing off my morning routine. You know, as I'm getting ready, I love watching vlogs. I love just putting on some random vlog in the background of someone that I obviously like watching and, you know, getting ready, like putting my clothes on or doing my skincare and watching it. It is so cool for me and usually it motivates me a lot for some reason. And so with that being said, I decided that I'm gonna make a vlog like that for you guys so that we can spend a morning together. And if not morning, then obviously just any other part of the day. And yeah, I just also got a package. It just came through. So let's open it together. I think if I'm not mistaken, I can't open it, wait. Let me bring some scissors so we can open it together. Okay, got the scissors. And if I'm correct, it is a package from Ultra Human, which is basically sort of like Aura Ring, but it's just a different brand. And they sent me their sizing kit so that I can check what size of my ring do I need. And pull it open and see how it looks. Okay, another package. Another one. Okay, 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 okay. Let, okay, yeah. Ta da! <gasps> look, here you got, we got like how different colors look like. I wanted to go gold, but now it kind of looks orange. Like it looks, I don't know if I like the color of it. Like it's a bit yellowish, not orange, yellowish. And I prefer more like a white gold sort of a thing. Oh shit. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to look into it. But here we get all the sizes. And basically what I need to do now, uh, at least what they told me to do, is I need to, wait, are there all the sizes here? I think I lost one size. Okay, I'm gonna have to find it. Oh, oh, oh it's here, it's here, you guys, we're good, it's here. So basically now what I have to do is find my size for middle finger, index finger, or yeah, like one of these three, basically. Don't test me on the names. <laughs> So I need to test which one works best for the finger that I want to wear it on and then wear it for two days straight. So that, like, I'm sure that that's the size that's right because obviously our fingers kind of change in size over, like, during the day, I guess. I don't know. But guys, who has fingers like this? What the actual fuck? Like, this is huge. Like, let me put it on my, like, my, like, oh. Like, again, man, but like, this big like that's crazy and you don't even wear it on your thumb and thumb, thumb is obviously the the thickest one so like what like this is insane but anyways well i'm gonna test it out let's see i think i'm gonna be six no i'm not gonna be six seven i think i'm gonna be seven probably i don't know it looks weird but i'm, I'm not gonna have a black one also but um yeah anyways i'm not gonna bore you with that anymore um let's get our morning started yeah it's gonna be a good day Woo! let's go
So I hope you guys can't hear what's behind my window because there is a crazy construction and I'm lucky starting to be annoyed with all of it because it's been going for like freaking a year at this point. But it is time for breakfast. And normally I would probably go for something simple. You know, I usually eat either yogurt with granola, you know, some nut butter, that sort of a thing, fruit, or my recent obsession, and you know it if you follow me on Instagram, which is Heads Maya, by the way, if you don't follow me there yet. But my recent obsession has been this exact rye bread from All and Steam. This is chia rye bread with hummus, aragula, and tomatoes, and a little bit of like a pinch of salt on top. So good. But we're not making it today. Today I decided, and I feel like I'm a year late, but it is okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm fine with that. So if you're fine with that too, then we can continue. <laughs> but I'm gonna attempt to recreate Hailey Bieber's strawberry, strawberry glaze smoothie. I think that's how it's called, is it? Hailey Bieber's strawberry glaze skin smoothie. Yes, I've tried it actually, because I was in LA this January. And so yeah, I've tried it. It is pretty good. It is not like crazy, like, oh my God, it's so good, but it's good. So I decided I'm gonna try and recreate it, obviously without the crazy ingredients of like sea moss and all the other things. I'm gonna recreate it in a more homey, in a more accessible way. So let me read to you, because I actually have a picture from Erwan from January of what's in the smoothie, because back then I already knew I'm gonna want to recreate it. So. In the original smoothie, because I have it on my laptop because I'm recording on my phone, we got almond milk, coconut whip, vanilla collagen, 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 sea moss, maple syrup, hyaluronic acid, strawberries, dates, avocado, bananas, vanilla stevia, 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 and organic strawberry glaze. And you guys, I do not have the strawberry glaze. So do not expect from me that it's gonna look beautiful because as I said, we are doing it accessible, we are doing it realistic, okay? But I got the ingredients a second ago. So we got almond milk. I got some coconut milk because I feel like I, I'm gonna be able to get the coconut whip, the coconut cream from top of it. If not, I also got this creamed coconut. I don't know which one's gonna be better, but I got two because I was like, I'm not gonna let it go wrong so i got both next i got a very very old banana i mean it's not even old but you guys recently i ordered some bananas i ordered three bananas and whenever i tell someone the story they're like who orders three bananas i do okay so do not judge me so i ordered three bananas and instead of three bananas i got three bunches of bananas so i got 21 bananas and i gave some to my friends but i still have a few so i'm gonna definitely have to make banana bread this weekend, but for now we're gonna use one of these bananas to the smoothie. Then we got a fairly ripe, <coughs> sorry, we got a fairly ripe avocado, maple syrup, which to be honest, when I read through that in these ingredients, I'm not sure if it's gonna be needed because we have dates, we have banana, we have strawberries. I feel like we're good without it, but I have it just in case. Obviously, we got some frozen strawberries and a fun fact about me, I mean about me, about my apartment actually, is I do not have a freezer. So making smoothies is really unusual for me because I have nowhere to put my frozen fruit and a room temperature smoothie, it's not it, okay? So it is going to be really nice to finally drink something with frozen fruit as weird as it sounds. Then we got some vanilla collagen powder, collagen. I don't know how to say that, you guys. I need to, I think I need to search up pronunciation. Collagen, collagen powder. Yes, I got vanilla collagen powder from Happy Mammoth. Um, I got it a long time ago. So we're gonna use that. And then I know that one serving of this is only one scoop. And the uh, thing, I feel like it's more than one scoop. So we're gonna do one, of, one scoop of this. And then I'm gonna use also pea protein. Um, just to add a little more protein to the whole thing. And is that it? I think that is it. Oh, and of course, some dates. We got some dates. I didn't buy the, the what's the, Medju dates, because I was like, there is no point to just buy it for the, for the smoothie. So I, I'm just gonna use the normal ones. I mean, we're gonna be blending it all, so it doesn't really matter. So these are our ingredients, and let's see how it's gonna go. Wish me luck.
guys this is the smoothie it is definitely not as aesthetic as the Erwan smoothie but it is okay it is a homemade version as long as it tastes good it is good but one thing i should have done is put the coconut cream on the bottom and just kind of smear it around the jar just for it to look better and i remember that you now that I, I, I sat down here i remember that that's how they do it there which is fun we learn i'm gonna do it the next time but also one little thing that i changed is i didn't add the maple syrup because it is already so sweet that i was like what is the point okay guys let's give it a try it's actually really hard to drink it with that straw i should have made it slightly less thick I love it. I have to say I really do. And I know it doesn't seem like a very complicated smoothie, but there is something about it that I really love. Maybe it's the coconut cream, because I usually don't add coconut cream to a smoothie. It's not that I make smoothies very often, as I told you, I don't have a freezer, but it's really good. I really love it. Mm. And also, even if I can't bring it with a straw, I can just grab some coconut cream with a straw. Mm. Actually, I just noticed. Look at that swirl now. Is it giving an aesthetic? Imagine just some strawberry glaze on it as well. It's giving highly beaver smoothie, okay? Okay? Give it to me. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing my makeup and honestly i feel like the lightning here is the best and also the sun is coming out finally because it was gonna be sunny the whole day and then i woke up and it was all just foggy and gray and i was like oh my god really but anyways first of all i wanted to give you a little update on the book because i promised you guys that i'm gonna update you so i am almost done as you can see and it is quite a specific book like, I don't know if that's the word to use, but basically it's 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 not a typical book that you would read because like I feel like as I was reading in the reviews, it kind of like now I see it, it is a very slow book because there's not really any particular action happening there. It's more of like this existence of a girl and just like how she goes through her days and periods of time and how it's all very repetitive. Like there is not much going on and there is something to it i would say i it's, i don't hate the book i have to i don't hate the book but also it's not the book that just like hooks you in and literally like pulls you in and you can't get yourself to stop you know it's sort of like a yeah i think the best way to say it is a slow book it is an interesting book but it's not for everyone i'd say so i wish i could give you a better review i, I could be like read it if you're this and that or don't read it if you're this and that I mean, one thing I can say, if you like books where there is a lot going on, this is not the book for you, okay? This is not a book for you, but it does have a lot in it. Like, I feel like it's a very deep book and um, there is a lot of little and big reflections that you can have from it, but it's definitely not a book where you read it and it kind of hooks you, hooks you in. I enjoyed it. So yeah, make your decision based on what I just said. But now you guys, I'm gonna do my makeup. I brought my little makeup bag here. Usually I just have it in my bad bathroom, but the thing is, the lighting in my bathroom is basically non-existent. And so I decided we can do it here and I can give you some things that I have learned in makeup recently because I've been getting slightly more into it. Not, not crazy, you guys, as you probably know and you can see, I'm not really into like big makeup or anything. Also, I am, I learned on TikTok that I am low to medium contrast okay my features are low to medium contrast they are not low because like my brows are not like super light my hair is not like crazy light so i'm not low contrast but i'm also not medium because medium is a bit more i feel like but basically like low medium high contrast if you don't know it's sort of the thing where you look how your features uh relate to your face and you know your skin color so basically if let's say your skin is very light 
and your features so your brows your eyelashes your hair is also really light then it might mean that you have a low contrast whereas if there is a little more contrast so your hair your brows is a little darker than your skin then that might be medium and if it's really dark so let's say you have black hair and light skin then that's high contrast and based on that you can then sort of see what makeup looks what colors are gonna look best on your face and also just i think it can kind of also relate to your clothing as well at least i believe so that looks so weird when i do it <laughs> my explanation of it is probably not very good so if you're interested in that check it out but basically i learned that my contrast is mostly medium which means that i can pull off darker looks but not as good as high contrast people i can use sort of like brownish colors you know sort of like a very light smoky eye different sort of browns but also i noticed that orange like cosmetics with orange hue like a teeny tiny bit of orange look good on me so for example um blushes that have that little bit of an orangey hue look good on me or like lip co lip products that have a little bit of orange in them and also i just noticed honestly it's not like i oh i found it all on um on tiktok but i noticed that i prefer to use sort of like those warmer color so for example i have this sculpt stick from milk and i would say my skin color it's quite light like it's not a i don't have a medium skin color definitely not and yet i chose this stick for medium skin because it has sort of like that warmer hue to it just like as i said like more orangey more warm because the one for lighter skin was just so cold and i thought i don't want to look cold because i feel like my skin looks better my face looks better when there are warmer coals on it i feel like i need more life on my skin that's why i decided to start using those warmer colors and i feel like it just looks so much better i also noticed that i feel like brown might be a new black for me i should be wearing more brown clothes so for example now i am on a lookout for a brown leather or fake leather it really doesn't matter to me but oversized leather jacket like a brown leather jacket i feel like that was gonna look so good and also talking about going back to makeup i noticed that i should use brown mascara which i have been doing but now i know why because of those features and the medium contrast and brown mascara just looks so much more natural on me honestly as you can see guys i have been seeing so many makeup videos recently on my for you page which is quite interesting but i also saw this other girl who said i mean girl it was a woman like she was working i think on some runways and stuff but or maybe magazines i'm not quite sure but she basically said that it's better to use red blush rather than um a pink one because basically a red blush can imitate your natural color so when we blush naturally it can better imitate that sort of a color she said that it just looks much more natural when you use a red blush and actually i realized after seeing that that i do have um sort of like a blush what i'm currently using i got gifted it some time ago honestly most of the makeup that i have is gifted so you guys don't be suggested by my big collection because i literally do not have a lot of makeup i just go to gifted so many things and i'm just like oh let's use it but this is from convi and it is the velvet gloss for lip lips and cheeks because up until now i was like this is just too intense for my cheeks like guys look at this color like it is so i don't know if you can see it but it is so intense and i was like how am i supposed to pull it off on my cheeks but as you can see, it kind of gives that very natural little blush. And I really love it. I'm actually going to get add a little bit more. I think this is actually everything for my makeup today. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Actually, we're going to do my lips as well. And then I just sort of blur it a little bit. And I finish it off with a little bit of chapstick. So I just go around it. And it blows it a little more so it looks natural and that is it you guys medium low to medium contrast we got a little very 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 natural makeup um but i love it this way i feel like i look good and i don't need more so you guys that would be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i will see you again next week and until then i hope you have an amazing amazing week and yeah i love you guys all so much Mwah. bye